Today we're going to talk about debt, everybody's favorite subject. Uh, most of us have it. We've got good debt and bad debt. So first let's look at what bad debt is. Like sort of debt to get your Xbox or your TV or there's a lot of things you can go into debt for. Your computer, you're buying some alcohol for the weekend, you're going out and uh, maybe celebrating a little bit too much out to dinner. Uh, basically you're spending money that you don't have that really won't earn you any return. And you're going to keep losing more and more money as this progresses. It's a spiral that gets out of control. What you want to do is focus on good debt. Good debt is actually debt that puts money back in your pocket. It's debt that you go into to earn more money. That is uh, what every business person needs. We're talking about real estate investment, business investment, uh, you know, buying that equipment that's going to increase your productivity, your student loan, the loan to buy the, uh, the computer that's going to run your business more profitably. We're talking about any investment that puts money back in your pocket. In order to do that, in order to know if you're getting into good debt, good debt puts money in your pocket, bad debt takes money out of your pocket. That's how you know. I think it's maybe a, a tough truth for some people, a tough pill to swallow, but uh, you need to be able to live you know, sustainably within yourself. So. so go into debt for things that will earn you income. Uh, a really good example is uh, by investing in real estate. What you're doing there is you're putting up a sum of money uh, usually you're going to have a down payment when you invest in real estate, so 10% of the total cost of uh, the property you're getting. And then you get a financial tool that's called a mortgage. I'm sure you're all familiar with that as well. The mortgage basically allows you to leverage your position and to earn more than what you borrow, if that makes sense. So a mortgage interest rate today in, in 2008 might be 6.5%. Uh, on the return that you're going to get on that 6.5%, let's say your property goes up in value, maybe it goes up 10%. So the split between those two, you've got about 3.5% that you're earning money on. Now actually there's more to it, but I think we should just leave it at that for now.